Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Okay. I'm going to take the attendance. So please respond when you hear your name. Okay. Alejandra Elizabeth Duran. Present. Okay. Alejandra Maria Lemus. Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Ángel Isaac Cibrián. Blanca Estela Lara. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado. Present, teacher. Okay. Give me a second. Elba Esmeralda Figueroa. Juan Carlos López Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Catherine Joana Alzadilla. Kenia Roxana Ayala. Luis Miguel Mejía. Present teacher. Okay. María Delmi Hernández. I'm here. Good evening. Good evening. Marvin Alejandro Landa Verde. Present teacher. Okay. Noé de Jesús Ambrosio. Sandra Lisset Elizondo. Present teacher. Okay. Cindy Carolina Cruz. Here. Okay. Úrsula Jamilet Cornejo. Present. Okay. And Jensi Carolina Magaña. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, double checking. Alejandra Maria Lemus, Andrea Esmeralda, Angel Isaac, Blanca Estela, Elba Esmeralda, Catherine Joana, Kenia Roxana, Noé de Jesús, not in class at the moment. Okay. Well, yesterday we uh, studied this uh, vocabulary to describe people, remember? Talking about 
appearance. We use language to describe hair. Right? Like long hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bold, a mustache, and beard. And beard. And I also gave you this one, wavy hair, which is in the middle of straight and curly. Then we studied this vocabulary to talk about age, to describe people according to their age. We said we could use young, middle-aged, elderly. Okay. In general, to describe looks, we can use handsome for men, good looking for both men or, or woman, pretty just for woman. We can also add these uh, words, ugly, beautiful, attractive, cute. Describing looks. For high, we used we learned this vocabulary, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. I also gave you this other vocabulary to talk about shape. We can use fat, thin, slim, medium weight, plump, heavy, for example. Then we studied this conversation and these questions basically to talk about people, to talk about appearance, general appearance. We can use these questions. What does she look like? Does he wear glasses? Her age, how old is she or how old is he? Her height. How tall is she? How tall is he? Her hair, how long is her hair? What color is his hair, etc. And we finish with these questions. So completing the writing the questions for the answers. Right? How old is your brother? Uh, my brother is 26. How tall are you? I'm 173 centimeters, 5 feet 8. What color is her hair? Or what color is Sharon's hair? Sharon has brown hair. Good evening. Good evening. Does she wear glasses? No, she wears contact lenses. What does he look like? He's tall and very good looking. How long is your sister's hair? My sister's hair is medium length. What color are your eyes? I have dark brown eyes. Okay. So... At the end of the class, we finish with this question. But I wanted to practice the pronunciation. Okay. And I can see how I want it's not on this group. Okay. Then um Um, last class we also, uh, 
made a short description of ourselves. Yeah, with some sentences. So here they said they describe a partner, but classmate, but we are not in on site. So we cannot do that. But what we can do is to write a description of a relative. So, and that's what I want you to do. Write a description of a friend or a person in your family. Using um, at least I want you to use seven sentences. Try to make a description of a relative of yours using seven sentences. Okay, so talk about the hair, the age, the you can talk about the eyes, the whatever. Okay, so make a description of one person. I don't want you to describe many people, no. One person. You're going to describe one person using different sentences. Okay? I will give you uh, five, six minutes to do it or something like that. When you finish, please uh, let me know raising your hand. Okay? Raise your virtual hand and I will know that you have already finished with the description of one person in your family or one friend. Okay. Do it, please.
tahu. Okay, people. Uh, who wants to start? Okay, Juan Carlos, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, well, I describe my sister. My sister has a long, webby hair. She's about 31. She has brown egg, brown eyes. Um, my sister is skinny uh, and fairly short. She has brown skin. Uh, she is pretty. That's all. Okay, very good. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Next. Ursula, go ahead. Okay, so the person I am going to describe is my mom. She has a wavy hair. She is a middle age. Also, she has a brown eyes. She is a medium height. Also, she is a good looking and she is a slim. Finally, she has a beautiful eye sprung and eye flashes. Okay. That is all. Thank you. Okay, very good. Who's next? Carlos. Okay. Um, I described to my mom, and uh, she is short. Her eyes are brown. Her hair is short and brown. She is thin. She is 1.5, 1.50 meters tall. She is 60 years old. Her hair is curly and she is beautiful. Okay. Perfect. Next. Okay, Maria Delmi. Uh, 
I just write my song. My son is a young people. He has he he has short and striped brown hair, brown hair, clear skin and brown eyes. He looks handsome and thin. Is he thin, skinny, and pretty tall? Okay. Thank you. Who's next? Okay, go ahead, Kenya. Okay. Um, my son has seven year old. Her name is Diego. He is good looking. He has black hair. He is very affection, affectionate and responsible. Responsible. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Next. Come on, people. Okay, Luis. Okay. I going to well it's my daughter. Uh, she she is six year old. She's one point fifteen meters. She has blonde hair. She's tall, thin, and so beautiful. She has a long and curly hair. Uh, her eyes are brown. Okay, perfect. Next. Don't make me call you. <laughs> One. Two. Me, teacher. Okay, Marvin. <laughs> well, I will describe my sister. She's 29 years old. She has, I'm sorry, she is a beautiful person. She has a long, long hair. She has brown, brown eyes. And she is very friendly. And she has a medium height. And that's it. Okay. Anyone else? Me, teacher. Okay, Jensi. Sandra. Oh, I'm sorry. Sandra. Description, my friend. He is a middle age. He has short hair. He is fairly short. He has a mustache and beard. He has dark skin. His eyes are brown color. Okay. okay. Anyone else? Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay. So Andrea and then Jensi. Okay. okay. I will describe my little brother. He is nine years old. His hair is black and is striding. His skin is brown and he is still small. He is very sociable and friendly. He likes to play video games. Okay. Now, Jensi. This question, my son. I have three children. One is 84 years old. Another is 10 years old and the girl is seven years old. They have a small nose and a small mouth. The oldest is distracted. The youngest is angry and the girl is a perfectionist. They are my life. Okay, beautiful. Anyone else? 
Okay, Edgardo. And I describe my friend, Maria. She has long straight hair. She good looking. And she wear glasses. She uh, she you know age. That's for. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Just be careful when you talk about the age. Remember, in English, we don't say he he has 10 years or I have 20 years. No, we use the verb be. He is 25 years old. I am 25 years old. Okay. And also when we talk about hair, for example, don't use the article a. Don't say he has a long hair. No. Because it's not one hair only, right? So you're talking about all the hair, so you don't have to use a. Ah. So he has long black hair. Yeah, or he is long black hair also. Yeah. And be careful. Sometimes we use the verb be. Talk about, for example, he is tall. He is short, he is uh, thin, so is the verb be. When you talk about hair, eyes, we use the verb have. And he has brown eyes, he has um, a bird, bird and a mustache. So be careful when we use the verb be and have. Okay? That's it. Okay. Now, continue with here. This here. We have this vocabulary about style. Here in the manual. Fashion on the streets is the picture. Let's take a look. So this is, we can just call this as classic style. Button down shirt. Bell. Slack. Another word for pants, more but actually more casual pen, dress shoes. And this is like a classic style, okay? This is more a cool and casual style. Or jacket, sweater, cargo pants, tennis shoes. And this is a more a funky style. The t-shirt, purse, plaid skirt, strip tie. So so I will ask you what what is your style? Think about that, okay? Don't you, you don't have to respond to me. But just think about that. Which clothing items do you wear almost every day? Uh, none of this for me. I don't wear that in my daily life. So I wear shorts, t-shirt, polo shirt, 
No, because I'm working from home. I don't need to wear formal clothes. So that's me. Um, and I I am more more casual than classic because I prefer jeans, tennis shoes, also sandals, polo shirt. So I am more casual than classic actually. So oh, that's me. What about you? Anyone? Uh, any, anyone can want to talk about that? Okay. Would you like to participate and tell me what is your style or what do you usually wear every day? So in my case, that school, my style is school and casual. I use a top with jacket, target bands, and tennis shoes. Okay. Anyone else? For example, in my case, teacher, is depend about the occasion. For example, is a casual, I don't know. I, for example, is a wedding, for example. I like to wear, for example, like a classic. And, but for example, is a party or birthday about whatever of my friends, I like to wear full and casual. In my case, my style is cool and casual. Okay. Yeah, I think here in El Salvador, uh, wearing wearing ties and and suit. With this weather, it's terrible. Only people who live uh, with an air conditioner or can wear like that. Otherwise, it's impossible. Okay, let's take a look to this conversation. So first, tell me, what do you see in the picture? Where are they? What are they doing? They are drinking. They are drinking. Huh? They are in a party. Dancing. They are dancing. They stay in party. They are talking. 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 They are, ha they are having fun. They are having fun. They're dancing. Okay. Good. So let's take a look at the conversation. Mm. Let me record the audio here for you. Hi. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay. 
one more time. Let me read it for you. Pay attention to the intonation and pronunciation. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Now let's practice in this way. Um, I will be Liz and you will be Raul. Okay? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. I am Liz and you are Raul. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? I can hear oh. you. Oh, she's oh. calling me. She went to a concert with Alex. She went to a concert with Alex. Went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Julia? Which one Julia? is she? Which one is she? Is she? Is she? The is she the woman wearing glasses? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Over, there. over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, oh I, I like to meet her. Like to meet her. Okay. Let's switch. Now you are Liz. And I am Raul, okay? We begin. One, two, three. Hi, Hi Raul. Raul. Good, Good to see, see you. you. Where's Maggie? Where's Where's Maggie? Maggie? <laughs> oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, oh no. well, oh, wow. we don't want you to have to do it. Julia, doesn't know anyone here. Anywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, no. no. she's she the only one in James. She's standing near the window. She's standing near the window. Standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay, very good. I will send you five minutes to working groups and practice the conversation, okay? Let's see. I hope everyone can join the groups. Okay, join the groups and for five minutes practice the conversation. See you in five minutes.
¿Me entiendes? Ok, people. Like to hear some of you presenting the conversation, okay? Let me share screen here. Okay, well, let's start with uh, Carlos and Estela, please. Estela, you are Liz, and Carlos, you are Raúl. Okay. Estela? Hi. Hi, Raúl. Good to see you. Have you just met me? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well. Why don't you why don't you why, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't to she doesn't know anyone more uh, anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No. She's the tall one jeans. One in this. She is standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to I like to meet her. Okay. Thank you. Now let's see Andrea and Carlos. There is Liz and Carlos is Raul. Okay, teacher. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's May? Me again, teacher. Yes. Okay. Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well. We don't you go and talk to Julia. She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the, the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's stay, standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay. Now let's see Ursula and Jensi, please. Ursula, you are Liz, and Jensi, you are Raul. Hi, bro. See you. It's Maggie. Oh, oh. she could not make it. Make she it. went to a concert went with, to a concert with Oh, well, what do you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I would like to meet her. Okay. Now, um, Kenya and Maria Delmi, please. Kenya, you are Liz, and Maria Delmi, you are. Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? <laughs> Maria. <coughs> Maria Delmi, are you there? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, oh, she, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, which don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't. Now, anyone here? Julia, where one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? 
No, she is the tall one in jeans. She is standing near the window. I'd like to meet her. Okay. Thank you. Now, please, Alejandra and Juan Carlos. Alejandra, you are Liz, and Juan Carlos, you are Raul. Hi, Raul. Go to see you. Where am I? Oh, she called to make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go? And talk to Julia. She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she the tall one in jeans. She is standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay. Now, Edgardo and Sandra, please. Edgardo, you are okay. Raul, and Sandra, you are Lee. Okay, ready, okay. Ra Raul. Raul. <laughs> Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she could make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well. Why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know any pair. Julia, the... which one? Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay. And finally, Marvin and Elba. Marvin, you are Raul, and Elba, you are Liz. Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh well, why do you why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia. Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I would like to meet her. Okay, people. <laughs> Very good. Teacher, um, yes? eh, solo quería, yo entré tarde a, a acá y no me pasó asistencia. Oh, okay. Me too, teacher. Okay, let's see. So, Alejandra Maria here. Elba Esmeralda. Esmeralda and Esmeralda. Yeah. Andrea Esmeralda is here. Yes, teacher. Here I am. Angel Isaac. No, my Blanca Estela. I'm here, teacher. Elba Esmeralda. I'm here. Catherine Joanna. Kenya Roxana. Present, teacher. No Present. Then, okay. Okay. That's it. Okay, people, that would be all for today. We we'll continue tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. And see you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good Thank night, you, guys. teacher, Thank you, for your time. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. See you.